For those of you who have a bar at home, here are some things that you can be working on to get stronger. Um, we're gonna start by just hanging on a bar. Obviously, if you have a bar higher above your head height, it's easier to hang with a straight body. Um, and just try to challenge yourself, see how long you can hang. Um, Molly makes it look easy, but it's actually pretty tricky to try to hold on for a really long time. Um, and coming on down, Molly. Um, another option is to turn your hands into reverse grip and try to hold as long as you can with a straight body or as straight as you can be, depending on how high your bar is at home. Um, and then some other options are doing mixed grips. So one hand facing one direction, one facing the other, testing how long you can hold it that way, and then switching those hands for a mixed grip. Another thing that you can be practicing on a bar at home is hanging with straight arms and trying to pull your legs up in a tuck. Trying to pull those knees up, but keep those legs together, feet pointed, and see how long you can hold that shape. Or our next shape is hanging with straight pike legs out in front of you, which is really tough, but Molly makes it look really easy. Um, and then the last one is hanging with your straddle legs out in front of you. You could try to go from your pike to your straddle, turn on your windshield wipers, oh, and coming on down. All right, so next, um, uh, Molly's gonna hang on the bar and try to bring her legs up to the bar and try to make her toes kiss the bar. That's what we say to our preschoolers. Bring those toes all the way up. That's our pike shape and our straddle shape. She can try to hang in. Very nice. A lot of times at gymnastics, we like to use props to help us with our workouts. Um, so Molly has her bunny with her today. Um, our, what we're gonna do with the bunny is we're gonna try to hang and balance the bunny on our legs. Um, Miss Molly is by herself because we're social distancing right now. So she's just gonna squeeze in between her knees, but try to hold the bunny up in her tuck legs. If you have a parent or a sibling that can set it on your legs, that's probably a little bit trickier. And she's also gonna try with her pike. She can try it above her feet or above her knees. <laughs> above your feet is a lot trickier. <laughs> try that one more time. Okay, so the next, she's gonna squeeze her bunny between her feet and she's gonna see if she can lift the bunny all the way up to the bar with straight legs, wow. And if that's too easy, you can even try to throw your bunny over the top of the bar. <laughs> Miss Molly's gonna try that one one more time, trying to get the bunny up and over the bar. Woo, very nice. So some other challenges that you can be working on if you have access to bars at home um, is bent arm hangs. So we're gonna start with her palms facing away from her. That's our regular grip for gymnastics and try to pull your chin up over the bar. The first one is straight body. Um, Miss Molly doesn't have enough space right now to um, hang her body straight off of the bar, but that's what it would look like if her feet were not touching the ground. Um, the next one is hanging um, in our tuck shape with her chin up. We like to call this one coconut in a tree. Try to hold as long as you can. You engage a little bit more muscles than just hanging in a straight body. And then the next one, which is the toughest one but is helpful for pullovers, is our chin up and our toes to the sky in a pike shape. Trying to hold that shape, trying to see your toes. Very nice. You can also do all of these in reverse grip. So notice how her hands are facing towards her. Um, you can do straight body or tuck holds or pike holds. All of those will help. Other strengthening exercises that you can be working on at home are pull-ups. So Molly's gonna have her hands facing away from herself. She's gonna be as under the bar as she can be and try to pull her chin up and over the bar, up and down, up and down. Um, if that is too easy for you um, and you want a big challenge, you can try to hold your legs up off of the ground. That one's really tricky. Trying to go up and down. And if you do have a bar um, that's high enough at home, you could be doing full pull-ups with straight legs if you're able to um, do those by yourself or you can be working towards those. The next option is chin-ups from the floor, turning those hands facing away from, or facing towards yourself, trying to pull your chin up and down, and up and down. And then if that's too easy, trying to hold your feet up, that one's pretty tricky, up and down. But Molly is awesome. The following are all um, front support holds or variations of front supports. So front support is a big thing in gymnastics, just to be able to hold yourself up on the bar. It might look easy because some people make it look easy, but it's actually pretty tricky. So our first one is just holding your front support. You want to try to make the top of your shoulder blades a little bit rounded. You want to have really strong straight arms and straight legs glued together with your feet pointed. Um, this is something that you can be practicing for all different amounts of time. Um, if you get 15 seconds in that awesome shape the first time, maybe try to get 16 seconds, 20 seconds the next time. Jumping up to that front support with straight arms, very nice, Miss Molly, is an important um, piece as well. So next, she's gonna work on her front support shrugs. So she's gonna be up in her front support, 
and she's going to try to shrug down into her shoulders and push up above the guard. So the top of her shoulders, her upper back gets nice and rounded every time she pushes up. I would just start with maybe 10 and then go from there try to do um, a couple sets of those. And then the next one um, is pretty tricky. She's going to do straight arms and up in that front support again. She's going to try to push up so the bar is all the way up at her knees. She's going up and down. She's going to pull those knees up to the bar. And those are front supports. Some other things that you can be working on at home um, if you don't have a bar is your casting shape for bars, which is very important and it's a tough shape to hold. Um, so for our casting shape, it's actually a plank with straight arms and straight legs. Our shoulders are directly above our wrists. Um, we have flat hips and we want to be pushing into the floor so much that the top of our back actually gets a little bit rounded. So that's an awesome plank shape or a casting shape for once we move it up onto the bars. If you are able to hold that awesome plank shape um, with flat hips and being rounded through your upper shoulders because you're pushing so hard into the floor, um, then a challenge is to try to tap your shoulders going back and forth but trying to keep those flat square hips as much as you can and really push through those shoulders and practice um, shifting that weight from side to side as well. A more advanced version of the plank for our casting shape is an elevated plank, so putting her legs up onto something. So if you have a couch or bed at home, um, this is an awesome place to practice this. Notice she still has rounded shoulders because she's pushing so far into the ground with straight, strong arms. She still has flat hips. What would it look like if you don't, if you don't squeeze your bottom? Good, or what if you go too far because you're pushing so much through your arms? That will make your arms stronger, but it won't make your casting shape um, correct. Um, notice that her head was neutral as well. It wasn't tucked in or sticking way out.